Okay, I'm back, y'all. Sorry about that. This may be a two-part video, but I do apologize. So, you did see the first part where I seasoned my meat. Uh, uh, Shaya, huh? what did I say I was cooking? Quesadillas, y'all. I'm sorry. The first part of the video, I couldn't get it together when I was trying to tell y'all that I was cooking. So, I'm cooking some quesadillas because I'm so tired and exhausted because I've been busy. We had a full day today. So... Yeah, that's what we're making, quesadillas. Um, so, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to spray my pan with some of this olive oil spray, uh, expeller press spray. And, and I do got it up on high heat right now, but I'm going to cut it down, kind of medium low. And then now I'm just going to lay my steak in there, in this pan. And yeah, I got it on high heat. So my oil is kind of burning a little bit, but that's okay. There we go. So I'm just going to cook my steak right now into my small pan. And yes, of course, if you see the small pan, the pan that you see that small, yes, that's the small pan that goes to my big pan that I have to the back that I will be uh, turning and putting my quesadillas on. Yeah. So, but, um, glad right y'all having a beautiful day. Those that are those that are not, please, I will definitely be praying for you all that are having a hard day. Even at our roughest time. We all need a little prayer. So I pray that God give you strength, peace, joy, happiness, and all be good ab above on the rest of this day. It's been gloomy and cloudy here where we stay. But however, we still maintain it by the grace of God. Once these steaks get done, I'm going to cut them up and uh, I have my uh, tortillas here and I'm going to use the creamy milk Philadelphia cheese to make these quesadillas today. Smells so good in this kitchen, y'all. Smells so good in this kitchen. Be right back. Okay, y'all. There we go. Now you can see. <laughs> now you can see my meat. <laughs> I was cooking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 Woo. 
Yeah. Just been going, going, going. And these are thin steaks. I don't care what kind of steaks these are. They're kind of like the breakfast steaks. But you can use any kind of steak you can use. <coughs> these are the, uh, <coughs> uh, eye of round thin steaks. So they're beef eye round steaks. So, <coughs> you can actually use them. And I only found them, they were like $5.50. And you get like, uh, seven pieces. And they're real small and thin. But that's all I needed was some thin steaks, you know. Yep. <coughs> and I'm just going to lay them right here on my, my cutting board. <coughs> I'm going to wash my pan off because I do not want to put my uh, other steaks in on there. And, and one thing about washing these pans out, and the only reason I did that is because my heat was up too high and then I added my oil on there and it kind of burned my oil a little bit. So, I wouldn't worry about that because these pans here, they go right back to temperature. They go right back to temperature real easy. So, like I told you, my expeller press, pan, olive oil spray. Put that on there. And then my meat in there. <laughs> and I had pre-washed my hands and my meats ahead of time, but no, who cares? I'm the only one eating in this kitchen. Me and Dee Dee. You know. I'm washing my hands again. I always wash my hands, y'all. So y'all hear some water in the background. That's me always washing my hands when I'm cooking. So that's a good thing. And I also have these tortillas too. So I did tell Dee that I'm going to try and make. I try, but I am going to. I'm about to pop. I had a few little pieces of chicken here. I'm going to pop this in there in the microwave. I got these from Aldi, y'all. And they are really good. I like putting these on my salads and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop them in the microwave and pop it up and I'm going to make a chicken quesadilla as well. We're going to have chicken and uh, chicken and steak quesadilla for the night. And we're going to relax. <coughs> Me and Dee Dee and we're gonna relax and watch us a movie and call it a day. So while those are cooking up, I'm gonna start cutting on these. And I'm going to cut them in strips. It didn't take my chicken ones too long either. So I'm just going to lay the meat on the plate.
These look so good. So I just cut them in strips. Like this here. I have to season them. A little strip. So you can have. Uh, and if you like to mix yours. Quesadillas can be whatever you want to make it. You know what I'm saying? With whatever type of meat you want to put on there. I've seen people make shrimp quesadillas. Crab quesadillas. And stuff like that there. So. Hey, whatever you want to make it. Just know what makes it a quesadilla is the salt tortilla and the cheese. That's what makes it a quesadilla. <coughs> I'm going to turn this meat. There we go. So once I get through with this one here, this pan here, I'm going to try change it out and put my larger pan here because my because my tortillas are large you know that's what I'm going to do is change them out <laughs> okay I'm going to try mm. oh man that's going to be really good <laughs> and then the grilled chicken is already look like this here so it's already pre-seasoned and everything. So I'm just break, cutting it up so it can go onto the tortilla. You can add a little onion on yours if you want to. You can add uh, spinach. You can add. You can even make vegetarian quesadillas. You know, the spinach and kale or whatever you choose to do. Make it your way. Make it the way you would like it. It don't take much to make a quick dinner. You know, whatever it is to make it easy for you. All right. And I'm gonna start right along with that. Some pico de gallo, sour cream. If you want to add a little sour cream, you know, <laughs> rub a little bit on there with a little pico de gallo and, or some, uh, what they call it, guacamole. That too. You know, whatever, whatever makes it, makes it good for you. <laughs> All right. I'm doing just a little chill back night right now because when the holiday comes, you know, we might be doing something different for the holiday. You know. Alright. So these are done and ready because they're thin. And it don't take much. It doesn't take long for them to cook. You know. Alright. I'm going to cut this out. All I have to do is Run some hot water in the skillet. Wipe it two times. And this skillet is clean. With my soap and water. See how clean that skillet is? Just wipe one good time, one, two good times, and it's done. So now I'm about to add my larger pot over here. And the reason of that is because this is where my work comes in at. <laughs> so I'm going to strip these on up, y'all. And that's it. When you use the thinner steaks, you know, and you cook them like that, just add your seasoning to them, and cook them like that. Uh, it doesn't take long for them to cook. It's kind of hot to me on my hand, though. See, I'm going to show you. <laughs> See how thin and well done that steak is? And if you like for yours to be medium rare, then you can get a steak that is a little thick. You know, I like mine well done. <laughs> so... 
And I like my steak, my quesadillas with, with every bite that I bite down into, I get a little meat. I get some meat. Not all cheese. Woo! Hot to my head, y'all. Hot to my head. <laughs> Woo. I could have used my tongs, y'all, but I don't feel like the slip and slide with the tongs, so that's why I didn't use the tongs. All right. So now, okay. I'm we'll just add this in my dish water. Have to clean up my mess as I go. <laughs> Wash my hands right quick. And then try to put these quesadillas together. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start my oil, my skillet, put it back on medium. Okay. I got my um, spatula. Okay. I'm going to spray this in the skillet. You see, I got my my beefs, my beef. Pour down my beef I'm to get my steak. Well, that's beef. That's what it is, steak and beef. And I got chicken. And so now, I have to do is spray my pan. Lay my bottom part down. I don't know about y'all, but I put just a little cheese into the bottom part. <laughs> and then... I'm gonna add my steak to it. And then I'm gonna add. Just my hands out. There we go. Then I'm gonna add some cheese on top. And my cheese on top. And then I'm gonna place my other tortilla on top. Now I'm going to spray the oil on top of it. I don't want it to get golden brown. Alright. Woo, y'all. This is one of my days, y'all. One of my most challengers. <laughs> Just let that heat be good under there. Good and brown. And then I'm going to flip it. And when I flip it, <laughs> yeah, I don't have one of those uh, good spatulas. <laughs> and I have a metal spatula. <laughs> and I need to get me one of those. Oh, it's looking brown, very brown under the bottom. <laughs> Quick. 
That steak is flavorful. I like complete seasoning because it doesn't have that much in it. And it seasons your food oh, so well. <laughs> I can just use that by itself on just chicken alone by itself. Okay, so now I'm about to flip it, y'all. There we go. <laughs> the weird thing, it looks like my top one is bigger than my bottom one, but that's okay. Ooh, but that quesadilla looks so bomb. <laughs> it looks so good. <clears throat> Easy melt. That's what it's called. Easy melt. Creamy melt or whatever it's called. Easy melt. Creamy melt. However, it has melted <coughs> that steak together. So I'm going to place this one here. <laughs> I'm going to go right on ahead. I'm going to wipe this pan off. Do the next one. <laughs> Same way. <laughs> and this one here, I'm just going to go ahead and add some chicken to this one. ahead and add a little cheese on top of this one here. Uh -uh. And then add this here on top. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to cut into this one. This quesadilla. So you can see what it looked like. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it where you can see it. Let's see what it looks like, y'all. Oh, look at that. Look at that quesadilla. Oh, my goodness. I can't wait. So, if you like this video, like, share, comment, subscribe, smash the notification, and never fail to leave a comment. Hit the notification bell so you can see when these videos are uploaded. We are going to get down today. I just wanted you to see how gorgeous that quesadilla looks. And that's the steak one. So you can imagine what this one is going to look like. And that's the ch chicken one. So, peace and the least. Don't forget that hair grease. God bless.